invite you back on to the Citrus Bowl. Um, well, excites me the most. It's another opportunity for this team, you know, to play together, you know, still make our identity one last time to go out there and create our identity for ourselves. And, you know, that's what really excites me the most. And it's a challenge against a good team. So, you know, it's a good opportunity for this team to, to show what we can do. You had some strong words last time we spoke to you after the Iron Bowl about players uh, participating in this game, playing. Just what was behind that? And have you kind of said some things to teammates to kind of maybe get their mind in the right way? Similar. Um, you know, I still feel strongly about what I said. You know, if you don't, if you don't want to play in the game, you probably shouldn't. You know, if you decide to come and you want to play in the game, like, you know, go out there and play with your heart. And, you know, don't think about injuries. Don't think about this and that. Like, if you're going out there to play, your main objective should be to dominate Michigan. Go out there and play your heart. You know, all that outside external factor stuff. You know, you can't really pay attention to it. Just. You know, you know what you got to do. We did it all season. Like, you know what you have to do to get ready for the game. So, you know, don't do anything outside of what you know what you need to do. Is it hard to, to mentally get to that same place after you guys have played in playoffs for five straight years to get up for a game that's not as, you know, not for a playoff championship? Um, no. Me, me personally, no. Um, you know, it's still, it's still a game. Like, I can't, I can't change the way I go out there and focus because, oh, it's not the game I want to play in. Oh, it's still a Michigan team. Like, they could go out there and you can get embarrassed. Like, you don't want people saying that you got embarrassed in, in a Citrus Bowl. Like, they're going to say it's another game. You need to take that game seriously. So, you know, that's what I plan on doing. I go out there and take the game seriously. I'm still doing my preparation. So, um, you know, it shouldn't be hard for you to get focused. Like I said, if it's hard for you to get into the game, you probably shouldn't play at the end of the day. Do words need to be said to people? Did, did, was that reminder, did that need to be addressed in the team amongst the players? Um, amongst the players, you know, we kind of talked about it, but at the end of the day, um, you know, Coach Saban spoke to us yesterday and said, you know, you need to be all in for this game. You know, he's going to be all in. So if you're stepping out on that field, you know, the players expect you to be all in. We're not going to give you a pass because we're not playing in a playoff game. If you're going out there messing up in practice, not taking practice seriously. So we expect you to, to be able to go out there and give 100%. Did you talk with guys like Diggs and uh, Lewis? And did you uh, guys have discussions with them? I mean, no, not for real. I mean, those guys made the best decision for them. You know, they, you know, at the end of the day, like, you know, they're my classmates. We came in together. You know, those are my best friends. You know, I met their moms, their family. So, like, at the end of the day, like, it's a, it's a business decision at this point. But the guys that do come back and the guys that did decide to play, like, we expect you to go out there and give it, a, give it your all. Were you all, I mean, surprised is not, is not the right word, but were you all, what was your feeling seeing as many players that did that could have opted out or, or taken the easy road or whatever? What was your feeling about some of that? I mean, if you if you the players that could have decided to leave, like some of the juniors, I guess, or I guess highly rated seniors, you know, come back and still play, you know, that just speaks, um, you know, kind of how they want to how they want to finish this, the year. You know, they they probably didn't feel satisfied at how we finished, so. They want to come back and finish the right way. Um, you know, it says a lot about them. It says a lot about their character and how they want to come back and, you know, dominate another team and have another chance to, you know, create an identity for themselves in this last game. How much was the 2013 game against Oklahoma, the OA Sugar Bowl? How much were those talked to, talked about with you guys? And, you know, there's a 2010, they played the same bowl game and killed Michigan State. It was kind of two different ways of approaching a game like this. Um, I mean, I wasn't here for them for those, right. but at the end of the day, um, you know, Cochran showed us a video of the 2010 was it the, the team that played Michigan State and how they dominated them, and he told us those guys took the right approach to get ready for the game. So you know, he told us, you know, if we want to go out and have a last lasting memory of what our team could do, what this season could finish up and be like, you know, those the type of that's the mindset of that the team that. The mindset that team had is the same mindset we need to bring towards, you know, playing against Michigan. How, how difficult can it be resetting, re, you know, getting after kind of a long season, you know, and you've had a couple weeks now off or around, you know, graduated, that kind of thing. How, how hard is that to reset and get in the right mindset? Um, I really feel like it shouldn't be hard to reset and get back in that mindset. If anything, now you should be like, I had my weeks off. I got a chance to. If you if you invested your time wisely, you came up here and got treatment. 
you know, you got your body back cut. You know, it is a long season, so your body does hurt, you know, especially by the end, you know, nobody's healthy by the end. So, you know, if you invested your time wisely, invested in yourself, you definitely did what you needed to do for your body to get right. So now all you have to do is shift in to getting back in the meeting room, you know, getting back, I guess, in shape. But as far as like what you probably should have did, you should have got your body right. So it shouldn't be that much of a shift um, into getting back into the groove of things. What impresses you most about the season Xavier McKinney's uh, What impresses me the most is that the consistency he played with, um, you know, he didn't go to like sophomore year, he had a great year. And then this year it wasn't like it was a drop off, you know. Even I think before the years, you know, he was on watch list, you know, with this and that. You know, it's easy for you to, you know, kind of be like, well, I just want to coach through the year. But nah, he still attacks every day, like it's a new day. Um, has a, a endless tackles. I mean, he has a lot of tackles, you know. And he's consistent. He's a consistent tackler. Like, consistently makes plays. Doesn't make a lot of mental errors. Blitz as well. Like, you know, that's kind of things that in, when I look at him, when I play beside him, I mean, it makes me want to be better. Like, I watch the way he blitzes. You know, I try to imitate that. Like, when I come in on blitzes, how consistent of a tackler he is. You know, that's something I work on because it's not one of my biggest strengths. But I look at him, I watch the way he tackles, how he moves his head. So, I mean, he's a great player. So, you know. Sorry, was he asked to do more this year than he was last year? And if so, how difficult is it to keep the consistency through that? Um, I, I, I don't think he asked to do more. Um, you know, I think he pretty much kind of does the same he did last year, you know. Um, blitzing, things like that. Um, but I mean, even still, just, just to even have the consistency at all, it just speaks to how he comes and prepares throughout the week. You accepted Last a, one. A, can you talk a little bit about the Senior Bowl and what it means to you? And like a year ago, if I told you you were going to play the Senior Bowl, what yeah. would you have said? Um, I probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought too much of it. You know, I just would have said, you know, if, if it happens, it happens. You know, it wasn't really a goal of mine to get to the Senior Bowl. Um, but at the end of the day, I still got to focus towards Michigan. You know, I'm not really thinking too much about the Senior Bowl, but the opportunity, you know, kind of shows how I work, you know, the amount of work and adversity I had to overcome to even be kind of recognize that I could be playing among some of the top seniors. Um, you know, with this Michigan game, I could set, you know, more of a, a, a bar for myself so that way I guess I could build momentum going into the game, but I just can't overlook this game and be like, well, I want to get ready for the Senior Bowl because, you know, this Michigan game is a big game. You know, if I can go out there and prepare the right way, it could only increase um, the value for myself even going towards the Senior Bowl. So, you know, it's a cool opportunity, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm still not finished here. All right. Thank you, Jared. Thank you very much.